94.1 WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. 94.1 WHRP invites you to check out Hello Huntsville. Hello Huntsville. Your gateway to Rocket City's vibrancy. Hello Huntsville. Look for the best in activities, neighborhoods, and exclusive insights. Work with people and hire people that know more than you do. Hello Huntsville. Find out what's happening and be a part of the stories that define Huntsville. The history of the 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldiers. Hello Huntsville. Your gateway to Rocket City's vibrancy. Don't miss the next podcast or video experience of Hello Huntsville at HelloHuntsvilleAL.com or click the link at whrpfm.com. Welcome to it. A warmer temperature start here in the Tennessee Valley. Enjoy all of this. Okay. Happy Monday. Good morning. Welcome to it. We are here. The weekend. So the countdown starts all over again. Countdown to what, T-Mill? Friday! Oh. <laughs> We're counting down to Friday. Oh my goodness. Come on, weekend. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, Yeah. Good, yeah, good. I slept a lot. <laughs> Saturday. That's a great weekend then. Well, I was exhausted. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, the extra hours we, um, you know, uh, contribute to the radiothon for St. Jude. Yeah. Those extra hours got an old girl. Hey. <laughs> right, but it was well worth it. I enjoyed every minute of it and I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. This is not a complaint. It's just that I'm old. <laughs> I don't bounce back the way I used to. Oh, but um, you know, thank you again to all those who donated and became new partners in Hope, raising over thirteen thousand nine hundred seventeen dollars to, you know, put in the kitty for for um, our St. Jude cancer patients. So yeah, yet again another great year of fundraising. And thank you again to Melody Shari for coming in and Mm -hmm. dedicating her time and uh, contributing to our uh, efforts as well. Absolutely. Love that. All right. Well, we got to see what's happening with Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. We got a Popeye's lawsuit. (laughs) Why is Popeye's suing Chris Brown? Chris Brown and Popeye's. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, and a biscuit. So, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we That's how we starting off this morning. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Yesterday commemorated the 59th anniversary of Bloody Sunday and Vice President Harris was on um, site and in Selma. And we're going to talk about what she had to say. OK. Yeah. And what ha- happened at uh, Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon's new show. Yeah, we starting out with all the mess this morning. Janky morning radio. You can tell <laughs> T-Mill has that hard-hitting news for us today. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for basketball fans, much like myself, if you didn't get to see the um, <laughs> the record-breaking basket, mm. man, was it a game yesterday? Caitlin Clark doing yep. the doggone thing. Net, net, net. Yep, yep. And so we got to definitely touch on that. Not only uh, Caitlin Clark. But LeBron, slap your hands, put some chalk in the air. <laughs> James. Hey, scoring breaking, champion. Breaking records over the weekend. Basketball fans were going bananas because it is March. March Madness. No, mm. yeah. All over the place. Tony with T Mill in the morning, 94.1 WHRP. Tony with T Mill in the morning. <laughs> looking black in the day was that black we're looking back in the day back 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 well black in the day miriam e benjamin invented what she called a gong and signal chair for hotels in 1888 wow this invention replaced the hotel guests from having to clap their hands or calling or yelling to get service from the hotel help known as a page Mm -hmm. well miss benjamin's gong invention would also reduce expenses for the hotels by decreasing the number of waiters or attendants. You may be familiar with the gong service signal chair if you ever push that button above your head on an airplane to get the attention of a flight attendant. Miriam E. Benjamin invented that. That's black in the day. On this date in 1789, the first session of the U.S. House of Representatives was held in New York City. New York City! (laughs) You can't pass it up. Right. 1837, Chicago was incorporated as a city. It was 1902 that AAA was founded. The lyrics and melody of Happy Birthday to You. 
uh, was wow. published in a songbook for the first time in 1924. And Malo released the cruising song Suavecito in 1972. Hey. It was ESPN that held its first ESPY Awards in New York City on in 1993 on this date. And Michael Bloomberg spent a lot of money for nothing because he dropped out of the presidential <laughs> race on this date in 2020. Mm, mm, All right. Mm, must be nice. <laughs> Celebrities celebrating their birthdays and famous people, too. Hey, she told us to scooch on over. <laughs> Kay Michelle is celebrating a birthday along with three-time NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green. Mm, mm, mm. Watch your back. Monique Slaughter. Monique Slaughter is celebrating a birthday from Love and Hip Hop, a regular on that. Kevin Johnson. He was the first black person elected to be mayor of Sacramento, California. And Mikel T. Williamson, the versatile actor who was in Forrest Gump as Bubba. He's also been in Fences, Con Air, and both Free Willy movies. And in memoriam today, we remember Bobby Christina Brown, the daughter of Whitney and Bobby Brown, and Bobby Womack. We remember today songs, man, back in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you think you're lonely now, and I wish you didn't trust me so much, go back and listen to that that song, (laughs) Cold-Blooded. And Miriam Makiba, Mama Africa was her nickname. She was a singer, ambassador, and activist from South Africa. Check out our Facebook page for more celebrity birthdays on 94.1 WHRP. And it is National Marching Band Day. Who is your favorite band in the land? Hey, yes. Alabama A&M, Marching Maroon and White. Don't forget about the mighty sounds of the South at Jemison. Let's go. That's Black in the Day, Back in the Day. Tony with T-Mill in the morning, 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 94.1 WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, a cumulus media station. Tony! With T-Mail in the morning. So over the weekend, many people went to Selma, Alabama, from across the country and right here in the Tennessee Valley uh, to pay tribute and remember those who crossed the uh, Edmund, Edmund P- uh, Pettus Bridge many years ago, 59 years ago. Wow. It's the 59th anniversary um, commemorative anniversary and uh, president vice president i should say kamala harris mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, along with uh, reverend al sharpton and uh, attorney ben crump were on hand and many others um, were there to join hands and gather uh, at the foot of the edmund pettus bridge uh, where all the voting rights activists uh, were beaten yeah and back in 1965 you know fighting for voting rights freedom liberty just you know things that we just take for granted today and mm-hmm. folks that have literally uh sacrificed you know made these huge sacrifices for voting and why again it's just so important to now that you know you have that to exercise that right because you have people that have sacrificed themselves and that thought it was so important to stand up to protest no matter what mm-hmm. um, no matter what circumstances they were Um, you know met with and letting them know like hey we are going to be you know heard and we have a right and reminding us of that if you're 59 years old when you were born Mm. and you're if if you're black or african-american whatever uh you identify yourself as you didn't have the right to vote Mm. okay yeah so uh the president vice president i should say let me stop that. Uh, <laughs> what you know, Tony? What you know? Hey, who you talking? Hey, you know, hey, you know something? <laughs> uh, Vice President Kamala Harris said, "Today we know our fight for freedom is not over because in this moment we are witnessing a full-on attack on hard-fought, hard-won freedoms, starting with the freedom that unlocks all others." The freedom to vote. Yeah. Yeah. And now she also said in in making sure that people remember that other freedoms are still under attack. Mm -hmm. The freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body. Yes. Still fighting these abortion bans. And uh, she also talked about the ceasefire. Yes. In Gaza uh, to get the hostages out and also try to get a significant amount of aid in. Mm -hmm. And uh, U.S. Representative uh, James Claiborne was there and he uh, also had things to say, such as reminding people that we are celebrating an event that started this country on a better road toward a more perfect union. But the right to vote is still not 
guaranteed. Mm, yeah, yeah. So and thanking everyone who had an opportunity to go down and show up and share pictures and just get the experience. And to all of the leaders who took many of our young youth, our mm-hmm. children, to so they can understand all of this firsthand, yeah. we thank you for doing that as well. The latest gossip headlines. Ooh, no, they didn't. Tony's Tattletail. I can't believe they're talking about that. The latest gossip headlines. Ah. They all up in everybody's business. Tony's Tattletail. Tattletail. Tony's Tattletail. Tattletail. Tony's Tattletail. Everybody has something to say about Beyonce making her country song. <laughs> but ain't nobody saying nothing about Dolly Parton rapping in Pitbull's Powerful Woman collab. What? Dolly Parton spitting some bars. Come on, Dolly. Mm-hmm. Now what you got to say? <laughs> Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Hey, I ain't mad at her. <laughs> Yippee, I am. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, there's been a lot of great movies on Netflix lately. Everyone has been talking about Kelly Rowland and Mia Culpa. Mm-hmm. Blue paint. <laughs> 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 now get ready for the biopic. Shirley, of course, that's going to round out the month of March. Uh, we'll get a chance to see that happening on March 24th on yes. Netflix. And this will chronicle the trailblazing run for the 1972 Democratic presidential nomination. First black woman elected to Congress, Woo! Shirley Chisholm. And I can't wait to see what Regina King does with that role. She always, she never disappoints. She's so. going to bring it. Yeah. And high concerns in regards to one of our favorite TV dads, John Amos. James, James, James mm. Evans. All right. His sibl- his children, the siblings, uh-huh. Shannon and Kelly Casey Amos, are still fighting over the well-being of their father. Now, Shannon wow. is, again, saying, hey, to pro- uh, adult protective services. Mm-hmm. Something ain't right. My dad's being abused. And now the police are back involved to Mm -hmm. see what's really going on with the well-being of actor John Amos. So we're hoping that things are okay there. It's not the word. It's just what I heard. That's Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales is sponsored by Hello Huntsville, where your heartbeat of the community comes alive. Check out Hello Huntsville at whrpfm.com. It's time for the Alabama Black History Minute with T. Mill. March is Women's History Month, and we're celebrating the bold, brave, and beautiful women in the Tennessee Valley who are making a difference, like Willette Tate, a world-renowned fashion designer and model. She's walked the runways at some of the biggest events in the world and scheduled to participate in L.A. Fashion Week. Not only is Miss Tate a presence on the fashion scene, she's also a permanent resident at Willette's Prism in the Low Mill Arts and Entertainment District in Huntsville. You can visit our website to see all the women we're celebrating this month at whrpfm.com that's your alabama black history minute with tony and t mill in the morning 94.1 whrp (laughs) tony with t mill in the morning and listen how exciting is it to break some records Mm -hmm. on senior night in 39 minutes and you hooping it up breaking records talking about caitlin Clark. I turned my whole home into a sports bar. I had TVs running everywhere yeah. because it was an exciting basketball game weekend. You know, uh, not only were uh, they playing, but also our girl out of the Carolinas. Uh, but anyway, we'll get we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> uh, Caitlin Clark has been doing the doggone thing. You know, it was just a couple of weeks ago she broke the record for women uh, basketball, the NCAA Division One uh, overall top scorer. That's oh. just for women. Yeah. Then yesterday, what had happened was mm-hmm. she did it again, <laughs> and she this time broke uh, Pistol Pete Maravich. Mm. His record has been standing for fifty years. Wow. Uh huh. All time scorer. And she so she's it down. broke it for women. And men. Man. What you got? Come on. What you got? Hey, you listen, know? run them checks. So I know people are going to be excited to, you know, that's going to raise a lot of attention for the games, the excitement, and of course her deals coming out of the woodworks. They really are. Ooh, she and, about to get uh, paid. It's that time of the year that basketball fans are glued to the TV and having a good time and following. I've got a cousin who's in the Midwest and is retired Mm -hmm. and goes from game to game to game wow that's their thing yeah got a sister that 
I mean, TV's on black. I mean, it's just that time of year. If you like Sports basketball, in the house. oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, you almost have to pay an entry to go to her house. Yeah. <laughs> Right, uh, but nonetheless, not only did she break records, how about yeah. LeBron? Hey, becoming the first NBA player hitting the uh, forty thousand points, the forty thousand mark, you know. And he also, it was cool also to to see him give a little love and shout out Caitlyn on Twitter to say, all right, oh, this no is doubt. you know, I'm, I'm doing my own thing, mm-hmm. but you got to also recognize and support. So seeing. Other NBA stars and folks across sports, you know, show their congratulations, props, uh, props and it's not just about them mm-hmm. and being able to cross over and say, hey, I'm doing it, but I see you too. Exactly. And one of the things about Caitlin Clark, I think why so many people like her, she always stays focused on this is a team effort. Mm-hmm. No matter the fact that she broke these records, which is still mind blowing to her, but she always focused on the team during all the interviews over the weekend, Mm -hmm. you know, it always came back to the team. Uh, But now because of her uh, Clarkonomics, okay, (laughs) uh, which they're calling it, uh, the WNBA ticket prices have soared through the roof. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Keep that same energy every game. And Let's she's go. going into the draft on uh, April 15th. Don't forget that's tax day, too. Whoa. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. man. But she's going into the WNBA. She's made that choice. And uh, this is going to take things up to a whole new level of people wanting to go to these games. I hope it stays there, too, because too. We're, we're waiting for the uh, the level of energy, the attention, the money. The money. Hopefully it, it starts to raise that conversation and, and starts to change some pockets because mm-hmm. – they are way, way, way long overdue. And, you know, hey, people can come out now and they're excited. So keep that same energy all season. Don't just do it, right. you know, just now because it's hot. Do and, it all uh, year. A little, a little note, just so you, for those of you who've been following Don Staley's career since uh, college, um, her team, again, 29-0. and 0. Mm. Hi, it's Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend from Tony with T-Bill in the morning, and we are trying to get the word out about your small business. If you have a small local business and you want to get the word out, all you got to do is go to our website, whrpfm.com, and click on That's My Business. Join us weekday mornings, Tony with T-Bill in the morning from 6 to 10 a.m. It's informative, fun, a little crazy, and full of great music. Weekday mornings on WHRP. T Mill in the morning. Tony with T Mill in the morning and finding some news, uh, reading here about this uh, the young lady that was kidnapped. And yeah, last week, uh, Mahogany Jackson, and a lot of chatter and conversation um, was had all over social media, uh, media sites mm-hmm. uh, the last couple of days and in the news. Very heartbreaking. Yeah. Come to find out that they uh, unfortunately uh, found her uh, dumped in, you know, in a dumping site in uh, Birmingham. And she had been shot and just left at this site, you know. So reportedly she was kidnapped and she contacted the police uh, and pinned where she was located. Mm hmm. She also reached out to her mother, who was on her way to an airport to pick up some family members, mm-hmm. and told her that she had been kidnapped. And so, as the report goes, the police and family members um, arrived to where she said she was, at a place called the Serenity Apartments in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. But they didn't find her. They didn't find her, or did they? Did they look? Yeah. You know, because we're talking about apartments Mm -hmm. and I just they're saying that they knocked on a particular door and the people who answered the door said that she was not there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, these are just different reports coming in and um, they found like, as you said, they found her in an this is not an official dump site. This is just a place where people just throw stuff away. Mm hmm. And mm-hmm. sadly, they found her under a layer of mattresses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she had been shot and killed. And they've got a few people in custody that they're charging. Mm-hmm. And these, you know, the young lady was 20 years old. Yeah, 20 years old. And they have multiple people, three men and three women. Wow. Uh, the youngest age uh, that has been uh, 
apprehended uh, is 18 years old. Now, the, this story really was being shared. They videotaped this and shared it on mm. social sites. Wow. This And they tortured her and they did unmentionable things to her um, and, and was sharing it on social sites. And the fact that, you know, I, it's, the fact that she actually, she shared her location. Mm-hmm. She was able to get that out mm-hmm. to, you know, the authorities and her parents. And here they are when, I just don't know why it, it they didn't find her or they didn't at least, I don't know, take some more caution to mm-hmm. figure out this is, it's a kidnapping. Of course, someone's going to say that that person's not there. Right. You know, and it's like, what do you do in that situation? Because now you have six people being charged in this and all of these different crimes that they did for nothing, you know, just pure hate. And, you know, I'm sure that the family is looking for answers, but they couldn't find her. Right. To know that you're that close and you're at the location and they still don't come up with anything. So praying for that family and, um, you know, again, all seven Horrible. of those people yeah. that glad that they did catch them and that they're going to, you know, try to make sure that they face all of the charges and hopefully they do the time as well. You can stay connected to the Tony with T Mill in the morning show just by listening online at WHRPFM.com and hitting that listen live button. You don't want to miss T Mill's shenanigans. Weekdays from 6 to 10 a.m. at WHRPFM.com. <laughs> Tony with T Mill in the morning. Time for your motivation and inspiration. Listen, this guy has been dubbed as one of the smartest people that we know, Albert Einstein. Thank you. Oh, him. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who once said, You never fail. Until you stop trying. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, right. snap, snap, snap. You never fail until you stop trying. That is your motivation and inspiration. 94.1 WHRP. Our website is whrpfm.com.